so hello everyone welcome to another section and today we are going to solve a question in this system okay so let's look at the first question here we have the solution here a being equal to 16 over 81 to the power of minus 3 over 4 now before we look at this question now for indices one property of indices so just note one property of indices is that if you have a divided by b being to a power exponent negative 1 over 2 then in order to get rid of the negative exponent then just interchange the numerator and the denominator so we have b over a then we have um 2 divided by 1 which is basically b squared over a squared so this is what we are going to do today so if you have 16 over 81 being negative 3 over 4 then which means that it will be equal to we just interchange the numerator and the denominator so we have 81 over 16 here then we have 3 over 4 and the negative is gone now for 81 we know 81 is a perfect square because we have 9 times 9 giving 81 and we have um, 3 to the power 4 gives 81 and also um 3 to the power 4 will give you 81 and also 4 to the power 2 which is 4 times 4 is 16 all of these to the power 3 over 4 now what we are going to do is that this exponent is going to multiply this exponent for both the numerator and the denominator so we have um, 3 4 times 3 over 4 here then we have 4 and 2 over 3 times 4 no 4 will cancel 4 then 2 goes here to 2 goes into self 1 then we have um, 3 to the power 3 being divided by um, 4 to the power 3 over 2 4 to the power 3 over 2 and also we also know that um, 4 is just 2 to the power 2 so we have 2 to the power 2 being um, equal to 4. So 2 to the power 2 times this exponent, which is 3 over 4. 2 goes, 2 cancel 2. Uh, then we have 3 to the power 3 being divided by um, 2 to the power 3. So in all, we have um, 27 here over 8. That's our final answer. Okay. So... The first thing you do is that you have to get rid of the negative exponent by interchanging the numerator and the denominator. Then you break um, the basis down. So 81 is just 3 to the power 4. Then 16 is just 4 to the power 2. You multiply the exponent with that of the exponent. That's what we did over here. And we had this. Now from here, we have 3 over 2 here. So 2, 2 times 2 gives 4. So just 2 to the power 2 will give you that. 2 gets rid of 2. And we have this. 3 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3, and we have 27 over 8. Okay, so that's for the first one. Now let's look at the second question. So for the second part, we have um, this. So with this, we know 27 as the base, and we have to break it down. So we know that um, 3 times 3 times 3 is just 27. So 3 to the power 3. Then we have the exponent here. Then for 64, we know 4 to the power 3, because 16 times um, 4 is yeah, 64. So 4 to the power 3, yeah, multiplied by 1 third, divided by, we have 81, which is just 3 to the power um, 4, and also multiplied by 1 fourth. Now over here, the exponent will multiply this exponent over here, so we have 3 to the power 3. 2 over 3 here, times 4 to the power 3 multiplied by 1 third being divided by 3 to the power 4 times 1 over 4 so 3 gets rid of 3 3 gets rid of 3 here, 4 gets rid of 3 here, 4 here then we have um, 3 to the power 2 times 4 because exponent 1 being divided by just 3 so in all, we have um, 3 to the power 2 times 4 being divided by 3. Now, um, one property of indices is that if the bases are the same and they are multiplying, 
so if the bases are the same and you are multiplying what you do is that you add the exponents but if the bases are the same and they are dividing you subtract the exponent so basically we have um, 3 to the power 2 and since these bases are the same and it has exponent 1 here what you do is that you subtract so let's say divided by that and times that which is basically 2 3 to the power 2 then it has 1 here so it comes minus 1 because the bases are the same and they are divided so you subtract times 1 over 4 and now we have 3 times 4 here which is basically 12 okay okay so let's look at the third question so for the c part it says if we have 2 to the power minus n being equal to s we should find 2 to the power n so we have this and we should find 2 to the power n but if you look at 2 to the power n over here it's with a negative exponent and as i said um so for the solution we have 2 to the power minus n being equal to that and we are looking for 2 to the power positive n so this is over 1 so the best thing is that we interchange the a numerator with the denominator in order to get rid of the negative exponent so we have one being divided by two then it becomes positive right being equal to x so basically making two and the subject what you do is that you so over here we can um send this one there and send this one up there so we have one over s being equal to two to the power n so therefore we have that 2 to the power n is just 1 over s that's all so we are just making 2 to the power n the subject okay so let's look at the last question all right so for the d part we have 5 to the power n being equal to k and we are to find 5 to the power n we are to find 5 to the power n plus 1 5 to the power n plus 1 now as i said that if you have two bases and they are the same and they are multiplying then you have to add their exponent so the best thing or the only thing to do over here to, in order to get 5 plus n is that we have 5 plus n over here we can multiply it by the same base but actually to the power n then also multiply so what whatever you do to this side you do to the other side so 5 to the power that now you can see that the bases are the same so we can add the exponent so what we did was to multiply multiply both sides by 5 that's what we did over here so we have 5 to the power and since the bases are the same we are adding the exponent and we have just 5k and that's also therefore 5 to the power 5 plus 1 that we have 5k equal to that so thank you very much for joining me in this session please like like share comment and subscribe for more